die roll. Uh, so this is the dive roll tutorial. Um, it's very similar to the parkour roll tutorial, um, just with a, a, a bigger gap, essentially, um, from when you take off from your feet um, to you going for the actual roll uh, along your back. Um, come here a sec, Matt. Um, as, as Sam said in the uh, parkour roll tutorial, um, try and avoid rolling down the centre of the spine because you will damage the spine, and it hasn't really got... Uh, you can't get the right curvature for it to get round, so... When we do our parkour rolls, uh, we tend to go from the right shoulder across the spine and down to the left leg. Um, the energy will transfer down from the left leg and hopefully dissipate. So if you'd like to show us a dive roll, Matt. Nice. So as you saw Matt there, um, he cushioned his, his, uh, his landing with, from the roll with his hands very softly. Um, most of the impact, um, about half of it is taken out with the hands as he rolls. So he pl places his hands on the floor first, tucks his head to the side, whichever way it is, and rolls over that shoulder, making sure he curves the back and keeping everything tight in until he, until he gets round, essentially. Um, as he gets round, you can see him, as he gets round, his leg is behind him, so he can use that to push up and walk out of it. Um, we'll, what we'll do now is we'll just show some more um, examples of this move um, and show you the distance um, that you could cover. Uh, usually this move is, you can use it to cover a gap as opposed to from a landing and uh, to absorb, absorb impact. So you can use this more over a gap. 